Alright, so I've been using a free editing software called HitFilm Express for over a year now to edit my videos, and I love it, but I've been quite curious on what the paid version has to offer. Well, what's up guys, Prodigy here, and this is my review of HitFilm Pro. So, if you don't know what HitFilm is, it's basically a filmmaking software that allows you to edit and composite any single application, unlike other editing software that normally have an editor and compositor separately. Which, this is great for a wide range of people, whether you just want to edit simple gaming videos or do some advanced filmmaking with VFX. Which, HitFilm comes in two versions, the free version called HitFilm Express and the paid version called HitFilm Pro. With the main difference being that HitFilm Express is going to have less features in comparison to the paid version. As HitFilm Express has over 400 effects and presets, while HitFilm Pro has over 850, which is more than double the amount of features. Which, if you wanted to get HitFilm Pro at the time of this video, it's going to cost about $350, which includes one year of updates and technical support, has a 3C license, meaning that you can run the software on three computers at the same time, and after your one year license, you still get to keep the latest version of the software that you downloaded. Now, you could get by with HitFilm Express if you really wanted to, as HitFilm allows you the option to purchase add-on packs depending on what you need. But keep in mind that if you had HitFilm Express and bought every add-on pack in the store, it's going to cost about $735, which is more than double the amount of getting HitFilm Pro. Plus, you still don't get all the features that are available in the paid version. But after that intro, let's talk about the HitFilm software itself. So after opening the HitFilm program, you'll be greeted with a home interface, which here, you'll be able to create or open video projects on the left, and on the right, you'll be able to see different information regarding HitFilm tutorials and challenges provided by the FX Home company, news on updates, and way more. And when starting a project, it's pretty simple as you can either use a preset template from 720p to even 8k, or you can use your own custom settings, and once you have your desired settings, you can start a new project. And upon entering HitFilm, it might seem quite complicated, but in actuality, it's very simple, as you can change how the workspace looks depending on your preference, whether you want the workspace for audio, editing, compositing, and more. And if you want, you can add, remove, or position different panels that you want or don't need. And after customizing your workspace, you can save it to continue using it again. But after that, editing a project is pretty simple in itself as you're provided with tools next to the timeline and the effects are well organized in the categories that you can search, which there's a wide range of effects with some built for beginners and some for advanced users. And when it comes to compositing clips to add cool effects, it's a pretty easy process as you just right click your clip and turn it into a composite shot to add your special effects. Which HitFilm Pro offers a lot of cool features including and not limited to importing 3D animation, particle simulations, color correction and grading, 3D tracking, professional audio editing support for a wide range of video formats, different keyframing animations, and way more. And if you want to learn more about editing with either HitFilm Express or HitFilm Pro, they actually have a ton of tutorials available on their main channel called FX Home. And when you want to export, it's a pretty simple system as you can either export the content or export a certain area on your timeline. And you have the option to either use any of the pre-made export presets available or create your own export preset depending on your content. And if you have multiple clips in the export queue, it'll just export them one by one. And if you're exporting a video, you can easily go back into the editor or start working on a new project while your video exports in the background. So overall, the HitFilm software is pretty similar to other editing software like Adobe Premiere, which this is actually a great budget alternative to Adobe Premiere Pro, as it costs about $240 for an annual subscription, which works out to about $20 per month, and this is a continuous subscription. But for a one-time payment of $350 for HitFilm Pro, you get to keep the latest version of the software you downloaded after your one-year license, which doing the math you're going to get more value of HitFilm Pro in the long run as you don't have to pay more after your one-time payment unless you want to renew your license for brand new updates. But after going over all that, what are my thoughts on HitFilm Pro? Well, overall, I honestly love it because after using HitFilm Express for so long, getting HitFilm Pro just felt like I got way more freedom when it came to editing, especially now that I have all the features available to me. And the system specs required to run HitFilm Pro are quite low, leading to a smooth experience if you have a decent PC. And the software is honestly easy to use depending on your content, which if you're coming from a different editing software, I feel like you would get the hang of HitFilm after using it for a few days. But if you're completely new to editing, I would recommend trying out HitFilm Express as it's free and still has some good features to play around with. Or, you can try out the HitFilm Pro demo available on the site, and if you end up liking the software, then consider getting it as it serves as a good budget filmmaking tool. But overall, if you're an editor who also has a passion for creating high quality effects and good looking videos, this program is the one for you. And I want to say thanks to FX Home for giving me a copy of HitFilm Pro, as I've been using HitFilm Express to edit my videos over the past year. And now, I'm going to be able to upgrade my editing even more so I can deliver better quality content for you guys. And just an FYI, 
I, this video was edited with Hitfilm Pro. So if you like my editing style, then maybe give it a try. But I think that's gonna wrap it up. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, drop a like and subscribe for more quality content like this because I do love making videos like this one. Also, comment down below what you think of Hitfilm software or comment down below what editing software you use as I know everyone will have their own opinions on the matter. But anyways guys, thanks for watching and be sure to have notifications on so you won't miss any of my videos. My name's Prada J, and as always, stay classy.